Right, hello. I've been putting this off as long as I possibly can, because I'm not looking forward to it. First things first, the room I'm in, streaming room, hence the nerdy shit behind me. Don't like it? Don't look at it. Titties, titties, gaming. Fuck off. <laughs> Nerd shit. I mean, I've tried actually rotating the camera, but it just got worse the more I moved it. So unfortunately, that that's kind of the less nerdy look, and in front of me is even worse. So, I have eaten everything that I've had sent from Huel over the last two weeks. I've got to wait at least another, hold on, work it out. I think it's 13 days until the second batch of stuff that I've ordered turns up with some of the nicer things that I've actually found that are good for me. At least good for me, I say I can eat. The chocolate is actually better through the spout which means you can only drink a bit of it at a time. Therefore, it doesn't overwhelm your palate and make you feel like you're about to die. Um, I haven't gone back to the strawberry one yet. I'm avoiding it. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Like I've been avoiding this. You can see that. There you go. Look. It looks like the consistency of cat vomit is the only way to say, look at that shit. Doesn't it look appetizing? If you're saying yes, you're a lying piece of shit. It looks horrendous. It, it, it literally resembles... A pea smoothie. And I don't think it's going to taste like that. So this is the Thai green curry. Look at the colour, right? It's definitely fucking green. <laughs> I'd rather be tied to the back of a car than fucking eat it. By my nuts. But I'm going to eat it. Because I'm northern. And I'm fucking hungry. And I'm not paying for any more until I've eaten all this. And I've got two bags of this. I know what you're thinking. Just get some else. No, I'm going to do this to myself. Because let's face it. I'm a sadist, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this. So I'm not going to make you watch me eat the entire thing because I'm not going to eat this at speed. It's going to be a long, drawn-out affair between me and this rancid bastardization of a pot noodle which has had sex with peas and then blemonged itself in me tub. I'm giving it a hard sell, even though I've not tried it. I'll tell you what, let's just let's just fucking find out whether the, the hate's worth it, shall we? It's so flavorful. Oh. It's like a party in my mouth that I invited no one to. <laughs> oh fuck me! <clears throat> So, I would like to start by saying there's an explosion of taste. It's not a good taste, but it's an explosion of taste. Oh, that's horrible. So, this is supposed to consist of peas, sweet corn, um, rice, some kind of seeds. Everything's on, like, I believe a coconut base anyway. Mm. Mm. After the initial shock, it's very nice and it kills your taste buds for you. With whatever spices they've used in it. So you just have this weird texture as you're chewing it, which is actually the sweet corn. Because your taste buds have been so well battered by the overall aromaticness of the fucking Thai green curry of it, you can't actually tell what you're chewing. It, it just tastes like um, a raisin, but it's not. It's actually a piece of sweet corn. Then you'll eventually notice the rice. The overall lovely burning sensation you'll get in the top half of your stomach, which is, once again, the spices... This company does nothing if not puts a shit ton of spices in everything that they sell for the hot and savoury range. It's as if somebody at the firm said, Flavours spice. It's not dickhead. Flavours flavour and spices to put on shit you don't want to eat. So, unfortunately, that's the way that they've gone with most of the products. It is good on the fact that you can eat most of the stuff after a couple of spoonfuls as long as you just keep eating it and don't go to anything else. But that in itself is kind of a get out clause. It's like, I'm eating it because I need to eat it because I don't want to be fat. Um, I'm not eating this because I like this because I'm enjoying it. I'm really, really not. It 
and you can tell by the gorgeous expressions on my face, I'm loving every bite. Oh, God damn. I am looking forward to the, the, oh, swallow. I am looking forward to the macaroni and cheese because in the back of my mind, that's literally unhealthy. So that should be okay. But it's not because they've measured it all out and they've done the thing and it looks good. The company is very good at doing what they say they're going to do. Everything is micro calorie counted. You don't have to do anything. You just have to mix it as they say and eat it. I would like to ad advise people if, you're going to replace your meals. Do it one meal at a time. Don't go all in. For fuck's sake, you will end up doing a hate crime to your bathroom. Um, and this also goes for if you've been having the hot and savoury foods, don't suddenly go to two of the protein blacks and one of the hot and savouries. This will once again be a hate crime to your bathroom. How does he know these things, you think? If I have to tell you, I will. But my bathroom wouldn't be appreciative of the things I tell you just remember that nobody will admit the fact that if you're going to have a, a large protein intake diet and this much vegetables and shit in a diet there's one thing you're going to do you're going to be regular <laughs> very fucking regular <laughs> and just remember once again most of the stuff you're having is liquid when it goes in And that's all I'm going to say about it. You can guess what it's like on the other end. Um, yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm not even cheating. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Those are things and phrases that you will get used to very quickly being on this diet. Just remember, don't tell your friends. Lie to them. Tell them it's good fun. And then when they come round and they're like, oh, this diet's going well. You're like, is it? How's the toilet, dickhead? And they won't admit it. They won't tell you, but it's fucking true. It's so true. I need to calm down. I need to eat more of this. So, it gets a glowing, <laughs> like a fucking baboon's ass glowing. Two out of ten for flavour. I'd give it a nine out of ten for managing to kill my taste buds, but that's not a good rating you want. So, two out of ten. I'm not keen on it. If you are a fan of Thai green curry, they have nailed the flavour. Not the texture. I mean, you could probably add more water to get a better texture from it so it's more runnier and easier to get through. But the more water that you add to these, the runnier that you make it, the runnier that it will come out. Please be aware. I'm just trying to say this as a political announcement because I don't want to be responsible for that face I showed you a minute ago. And people leave me in the comments, you dickhead, you never told us. I told you. I warned you. You've been told. But yeah, by all means, share the videos, give us a follow, and uh, if there is any food you'd like me to try and review, because seeing as how I'm running out of this stuff, um, it has to be healthy for the first six months. <laughs> but after that six months, you get your fucking shit in for whatever giant fat bastard thing you want me to eat. I am telling you now, I'm going to be so ill after six months, because I'm having the biggest, greasiest, fat bastard burger I can get my hands on. I don't care if I have to travel to do it. Somebody tell me where there's one all you can eat and it's free jobs. I'll go and give it a go. I will turn up with my big fat baggy pants, which I no longer fit into, and I'll try and refill them. <laughs> but until said time, all I have to say... Mmm. Tasty. I'll see you next time.